Hey guys, it's NLW here, back again with another video. This time a collection featuring my old Jax figures. Basically I've been going through my old stuff, sorting through some things, and I found a bunch of old figures that I used to use when I was a kid, and you can tell uh, how much wear and tear these have. You can just see this John Cena, I must have got him when I was like 8 or 9. And yeah, they've certainly been through the wars. Uh, some of these have actually gotten new in bundles over the years, but I thought this would be a fun little nostalgia trip for anybody who grew up during the European Aggression Era, or even, you know, more recently, who still remembers Jack's figures. Uh, obviously we've had Mattel for over 10 years now, but this is a nice trip down memory lane. Uh, this is kind of inspired by Spam Wrestling's video, I would recommend checking his out. He used to be a collector, he's got a bunch of old Jack's figures, and that's really cool. But, I'm going to go through them. Let me know what you think in the comments, but let's begin. First of all, here we have Jeff Hardy. You may recognise him from me using him in the NLW. Uh, we've got this Flash Rey Mysterio. And like I said, the John Cena, which looks to be battered to bits. I think I got this from Tesco when I was like eight. Uh, we got Hulk Hogan in his classic 80s attire. And like I was saying before, you can tell which figures I played with as a kid, because they got so many paint marks on them, including this Shawn Michaels missing his ponytail, but... Yeah, I used to. This is one of my favourite figures as a kid. Uh, moving on as well, got the Randy Orton. I believe this is from when he lost the world title, but I could be wrong. And moving on, we've got the rated R superstar Edge. We have Umaga. And this, this is uh, really old, this one. Kane. I think this is from 2001 release. And moving on, Finley, another guy I used to use in. NLW. Oh, here we go. Vintage Stone Cold Steve Austin. I used this for many, many years. Uh, we got the homicidal, genocidal Sabu. And uh, speaking of spam wrestling, his video, his favourite wrestler, Shelton Benjamin. I uh, was uh, met, tried to make a custom out of him, as you can see there, but it didn't go to plan. And the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller, Chris Jericho. JBL, the Commissioner's Lawyer for UNLW fans. Batista, and you may recognise this figure from WrestleMania 2 where he faced Randy Orton. Uh, we've got these old Dudley Boys figures, there's Dave on there. And of course, Bubba Ray. Uh, let's move on to, ah, oh, here we go, some TNA figures. We've got this Impact Wrestling Austin Aries. This TNA Kevin Nash. Another TNA figure with Sting. We've got Orlando Jordan. And here's an elite, well I say elite, Deluxe Aggression, Chava Guerrero. You still have these Deluxe Aggression figures. The accessories were so cool back then. Especially as a kid when you get like a table with Chava Guerrero or something, that'd be sick. Oh, here's a figure that's been through the wars. I don't know if anybody remembers, the WWE brought out, I think it was like 2008, this hardcore six pack of ECW guys. And this is one of them, CM Punk, but both of his arms have fallen off, sadly, through wear and tear. He was one of my favourite wrestlers as a kid, so it's to be expected. Got Brian Kendrick, another figure that's been through the wars. This Johnny Nitro. Shame I don't have Dr. Joey Mercury, but it is what it is. Got Mark Jindrak, remember him? And we have the masterpiece, Chris Masters. And the Boogeyman. I think this was the last... Jack's figure I actually bought for several years before I started in LW at least. We got another Chava Guerrero. Have William Regal. Fun fact, the first ever two pack I ever got was this one. Got him from Woolworths back in the day. William Regal and his tag team partner Paul Birchall. The first two figures I ever bought. I'll let you know what the first figure I ever bought is. Ah, oh, there he is. Carlito, the very first figure I ever bought. This is where my passion or addiction, depending on your outlook, started for wrestling figures. The very first figure I ever bought. I was eight years old and I was so happy when I got him. It was two quid as well, so cheap. And obviously they jacked up the price nowadays. Uh, here we've got the Rabid Wolverine, Chris Benoit. We have this great Carly figure, got him in a Giants free pack. They're much more creative. Um, packaging as well. I think it was less uh, collector based back then, but I don't know. Things have changed over the years. We've got this TNA Hernandez. Another Chava Guerrero figure. 
Uh, by the way, with these Chavo Guerrero figure, like I, it came in, a, I think it was a green packaging, and the figures were really cheap. But uh, if anybody can alert me to what kind of series that was, then you know any wrestling figure trivia nerds out there can help me. We got a Do It Aggression Miz. We have another classic Titantron Edge. Oh, look at this there. My first attempt at a Pentagon Jr. Custom, needless to say, my second attempt was much better. Have this Bobby Lashley Deluxe Aggression. Have a Kurt Angle there. He was used in NLW for quite a long time. Uh, this fix-up I did of Matt Hardy, the broken one. And then we've got these really tiny figures. This tiny, teeny tiny Vince McMahon there with the jet black hair and the WWF logo. As you can see, he's been bent out of shape. Another classic figure, Mankind, and sadly his uh, mandible claw hand is missing. And here's the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And this is an interesting figure, Flex Force Big Show. The fella at the, um, I remember as a kid, the guy was like, you do realise his uh, arms don't move? And I was like, yeah, I know. I just thought it was just, I, at the time, thought it was so cool. Now I realise how limiting it is, especially because his kneecaps don't move, but... Oh well. Uh, this one, I, I had no idea who this was for ages until someone told me it was Spike Dudley. But, I don't know, it looks nothing like Spike Dudley, in my opinion at least. Have this Scotty Too Hot again. Terrible likeness, in my opinion. There are some bad um, Jax figures out there. I think they outweigh the Mattel ones, but the nostalgia's there, in my opinion at least. We've got this uh, Mr. Kennedy. Another John Morrison Johnny Nitro that has uh, been through the wars, as you can see. A lot of these figures taped up from when I played with them as a kid. Ah, Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero, have another Triple H figure which I tried to turn into an Al Snow, you may remember him from the Extreme Reunion episode, have this gigantic Andre the Giant figure there, and oh gee, I have no, no idea what I was thinking here, I think I just have a spare body and headline around, it's the, um, name this wrestler, comments below, name this wrestler. Have another Titan Tron Matt Hardy. Uh, Raven, TNA Legends figure. That served me well in the past. Got this small WCW uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. I think this is like one of the last action figures they actually released. Some of these I actually got from my cousin because he was a big uh, WWF uh, wrestling fan back in the day. Have a giant Kane. Tommy Dreamer. And Jimmy Wang Yang, the cowboy. There's some more TNA figures here. We've got Kurt Angle. Don't know what the hell happened to his face. <laughs> um, and there's AJ Styles, a figure I used for many, many years until WWE finally released an action figure of him. Uh, another classic Chris Benoit. We have another Matt Hardy there. We have Jeff Hardy, sadly, with his hair missing. I might have used it for a custom down the line. We have Triple H in his tracksuit attire. And I'll oh, name this wrestler. <laughs> I think that, that's obviously an RVD body, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, the head is uh, Kevin Thorne. I remember Kevin Thorne was the first ever figure I properly broke. I think I was doing a storyline as a kid where uh, the great Carl Lee tombstoned Kevin Thorne on his neck, and I just dropped the figure like that, and his whole head just exploded off it. I was well upset at the time over a Kevin Thorne figure, would you believe? And last, certainly not least, Doctor of Fugonomics. John Cena complete with the jersey and that is it for now my entire Jack's collection of WWE figures let me know in the comments below what was your favorite figure if you're new around here please consider subscribing like the video if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys later